Hey guys, welcome back. Connor here with High Level Heroes. And today I'm going to show you how to create appointment reminders using Go High Level software. And if you haven't tried Go High Level yet, you can go ahead and click that link in the description box and get a free 14 day trial if you'd like to try it out. All right, so you might be asking yourself, why do we need to create appointment reminders and go high level? What is the point? Well, it's like anything in life. We as human beings are pretty forgetful. Without a reminder to do something, how likely are you to actually do it? I mean, I know for myself, I wouldn't get hardly anything done without my reminders app on my phone. Well, it's the same with business. It takes a lot of work to schedule appointments with clients. So you wanna make sure that you do everything you can to help that appointment go through. Research shows that less than 5% of scheduled appointments are canceled after a customer gets a text reminder. The same research shows that text messages have an open rate of 98%. What this means is with a simple reminder text message, you could lock down almost all of your scheduled appointments. Well, now you're probably saying, yeah, that sounds great and all, but wouldn't it take way too much time to remind every single client about their appointment? Well, the answer to that would be yes, if you were texting them manually, but not when you use the automated features of Go High Level. After setting up the system one time, it will automatically do all of the reminders for you. It's great. So let's hop into the software and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so here we are in our Go High Level account. You can see that we are in the agency view here. So the first thing we're going to do is enter our sub account, the Alpine Film and Photography, and we're going to get right into it. So this is basically going to use two features of Go High Level. The first is campaigns and the second is gonna be triggers. So let's start with our campaign, which is over here in the marketing tab. And I'm gonna just create a new one and show you how this works. So we're gonna title this Appointment Reminders. And we'll just leave it like that. And it's really pretty simple. We're gonna start by adding an event right here. And you have a lot of choices here. We're gonna start with an email because this is just gonna be the first thing that they see after they schedule an appointment, okay? So we'll say booking success. So we can say something like, hey, user or contact first name make sure you don't use the user for when you're trying to address the contact because the user is going to be the name of your employees or the people working with for you so the contact first name your uh let's say thank you for booking an appointment on you can do the date oops let's do appointment start date we look forward to seeing you. Please reach out by replying to this email if you have any questions at all. Smiley face. And you can do something like this, best, and you have all sorts of signatures you could do. Probably do account, owner, first name. That looks good. So you can save that. And now what we want with this email is to have it sent out immediately after the person books their appointment. So we come over here to the time and we wanna click send immediately. Oh, not before. We wanna do immediately. And now you'll see these exclamation points and you know that email is gonna go out right when the client books their appointment. Next thing we wanna do is actually set up the reminders, right? So we're gonna choose texting in this case, kind of like I was explaining in the beginning Texting seems to be one of the most successful ways of reminding clients about their appointments. And it makes sense, right? Because everyone has phones, everyone's always checking their phone way faster than they're checking their email and other things like that. So we're gonna go with SMS here. And we'll say, hi, just like before, contact, first name. Um, and this is gonna be a text that will remind them about their appointment maybe a day before, maybe a couple days before their appointment. So we'll say, you just a friendly reminder that your appointment on is coming up soon. We look forward to seeing you. Looks great. We'll save that. And what we want to do is send this before before their appointment is ready, right? Let's choose three days, that sounds pretty good. And now what I'd like to do is actually set up more than just one a reminder, because the more reminders, the more likely they are to actually come, right? So let's do one more reminder. Um, this time on the day of, I think would be good. So we can do, hey, just again, just like before. Oops, 
Oh, look, I just made that mistake. We don't want to do user. We want to do um, the contact, first name. We look forward to seeing you in an hour. Please reach out if you have any questions. You could add a little bit more if you would like. I think that's a pretty good reminder text. But again, you could set this up however you want to include the appointment time. If you want to say, hey, your appointment is at this time and we're going to see you soon, that works too. So let's go ahead and save that. And now we're going to send it before our appointment once again. And this time we want to do it in hours. Let's maybe put that at one hour because we said we'll see them in an hour. And now we're good. So you've got this, you've got this timeline here on the left side that you can see pretty easily. And I love how simple this is, how easy it is to understand. And the greatest part about this is now your clients are going to automatically get these three messages every single time that they book an appointment. Now you might be wondering, how does the software know when they book an appointment? Well, that's how the triggers work. Okay. So we've talked about the campaigns. Now let's talk about the triggers and how you can get them into this flow right here. Okay. So let's come over here to the side and go down to triggers. And this is pretty simple guys. What we're going to do is head to our new appointment opt-in trigger, which we've built in a different video. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. We'll come in here and what we want to do is just add another action. So as you can see, the rule for this trigger is that an appointment was made in our calendar of new appointments. And when that happens, what we want to do is just add an action right here. That is add them to campaign. And now we're just going to choose the campaign we just barely made, which is going to be appointment reminder. And that is it guys. It's really that simple. We just hit save now and we're good to go. So that's really all there is to it guys. That is how you set up a campaign and that's how you use the triggers to get your clients into that campaign. And hopefully this helps you remind your clients about their appointments and help them to actually show up. So it was a quick video today. I hope you liked it. And if you did, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel so you can see all of the content that we're going to be putting out on how to use Go High Level for your business. And again, if you want to try this amazing software for yourself, go ahead and click that link in the description box below. You can get a 14 day free trial and you'll be supporting us in creating more videos like these. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.